friction and traction. When one surface touches and moves across another surface, it creates a force called friction. You accelerate by pressing on the gas pedal, which allows an increase of speed as your wheels grip the road, allowing friction. When you decelerate by pressing on the brake pedal, all four tires grip the road, thus slowing the vehicle down and creating friction. Without friction, a car's tires would simply spin in place and no motion would be possible. It is the ability of tires to grip the road surface that makes it possible to control vehicle motion. This friction between the tires and the road surface is called traction. When traction is reduced, you lose some control of the car. For this reason, you must be aware of the conditions that may lead to traction loss. The condition of the road also affects traction. Wet surfaces provide less traction than dry surfaces because there is less contact between the tires and the road. Bumpy roads reduce traction as well. On an uneven surface, the tires must move up and down rapidly in order to stay in contact with the road. Worn or defective shock absorbers cause the tires to lose their grip on the road. Replacing worn shock absorbers helps ensure proper traction and control. Friction plays a part in braking a vehicle as well as in moving it forward. When you apply the brakes, the friction created slows the turning of the wheels. This causes the car to slow.